Hey there, Tinkercad friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another fun filled project for you. We are locked in a crazy cold spell here in Michigan, and it got me thinking wouldn't it be sweet to make our own cool Tinkercad igloo? So let's get cracking. Let's start by clicking Create New Design. And with any design, it is a good idea to rename it. I'm going to put Igloo MDH. And then let's look at possible objects to build an igloo with. We could use an Hasphere. We could use a Paraboloid. I'm going to use a Paraboloid. And then I'm going to simply hold down Shift. So we're working on basic skills and stretch that out to where I want it. Then I'm going to take it and shrink it down so it's a little shorter. That's what my igloo looks like. And watch how easy it is to hollow it out. I'm going to duplicate using Control D. And then I'm going to take that duplicate. And I'm going to use the cone. And it's easier if you use it from an angle to pull that cone down. And I'm going to go down 10 millimeters. So my walls are going to be about 5 millimeters thick because half of 10 is 5 on each side. I'm going to turn that second one into a hole. I'm going to grab them both and I'm going to group them. And I have instantly made a sweet little igloo. Every igloo needs an entrance. I'm going to do mine with a round roof. I'm going to take my round roof and make it a little wider and a little taller. I'm going to select everything and I'm going to align it using the nifty little center button so that I've got it right where I want it. I'm going to stretch the little entrance out just a little bit. I'm going to make it white so that it looks a little more like an igloo. I think I'm going to use that gray white because it looks like it'll match better. There we go. And I'm going to use that same trick where I do control D to duplicate. I'm going to pull the duplicate down, but notice it doesn't get the same width. So let's practice another trick. We're going to hold Alt and Shift. And when we squeeze, it shrinks in every direction the same amount. That's because Alt and Shift locks them both in. So now I can stretch it out, make it a hole. I'm going to look underneath and find that black handle that comes to the back. Actually, I'm going to use another amazing trick. I'm going to hide this so it's even easier to find that black handle that lets me stretch that in to the spot that I want. I'm going to make it a little taller. That is a perfect view of how I want it to look. I'm going to click the light bulb to bring everything back. And when I group it, I will have an amazing igloo with an entry that fast. You can use Scribble to make an awesome little person, but quite honestly, mine was so bad I chose to delete it. So now that you have your igloo built, which was amazingly easy, you can do all kinds of crazy things like maybe make yourself a tiny furnace. Uh, notice I can just grab and shrink and adjust it to however I want it to be. If I were making a furnace, I'd kind of want it to have round sides. I'd definitely want it to be one of those black little pot belly ones. Um, I'm going to stretch mine out a little bit. I'm going to bring out a cylinder for the pipe. It is so amazing all the little things that you can add. Of course, that's going to have to be uh, black as well. I'll make it attached. I'm going to take both of those items and I'm going to quickly group them. Uh, center. I want that to the back. It helps if you actually click the button. I'm going to lift it up to this height by hitting W. Click in the work plane clicking on that shape and hitting the letter D so that it drops it. And now I want to make it extra fancy by cutting out the hole. So I'm going to do control D to duplicate that little fella. And then I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to shrink it a bit. I'm going to lift it up nice and tall, make it a hole, grab those two items. So I just selected both of them. I'm going to do a line and I'm going to make sure that that pipe is centered that way. And I'm going to spin this way and make sure it's centered this way. And then I'm going to push my stove pipe down in a bit so that I'm sure that it cuts in. I accidentally hit rotate, so I'm going to hit control Z. I like these corner views when I'm doing these rotates or these push downs. And I can push it in. 
I'm going to take the main pipe and I'm going to nudge it down a little too so I'm sure that it's where I want it in the whole apparatus. And when I group these, my fireplace is now connected. I'm going to cut a hole into my fireplace with another box, grab that box, shrink it down quite small. Did not mean to grab that, so I'm going to do Control Z and I'm going to use the sweet fit view to selection so I can get a better look at it. Let's shrink it a little smaller and align it with the actual fireplace. Once again, if I do fit view to selection, I can really, really narrow down my sizes so that I'm happy. Push that back a little bit. And then I'm going to drop it down into my stove. That's pretty cool, but I definitely want it lower. Then I want to use the white handle to raise it up. And now if I group those, I will have a cutout place where I can put my fire. The only problem is I accidentally grouped the entire project. So let's ungroup that and try again, making sure we only have those three shapes selected. Now it's black, which is what I wanted. I don't mind that little hole there because that'll be how it vents into the uh, pipe. That's actually kind of cool. And now I can add some uh, brown logs. And I'm going to do this really smart. I'm going to actually hit W so I'm inside that work plane. So when I bring in my little log, I can quickly hit a corner view. I can rotate it so it's laying down. I'm going to hold shift and shrink it like I have a few other times with you. Stretch it out. Rotate it. I want to grab the handle so it's a manual rotation. Turn it brown and boom, I have got a log in the fire. And then I can do some fancy stuff to make it look like there were other logs and there were actually flames behind it. But I'll let you push the limits and try and get it to that level. I'm going to grab my fireplace. Once again, making sure I only have the fireplace. I'm going to group it and make sure I've got that multicolor on because that's what makes it look the coolest. And then I can drag it into my cool igloo. There you can see it's lined up nice. I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it back. Plenty of room for the people to still be in there. I could add all kinds of crazy furniture. You could make this as real and authentic as you wanted. If you do make something awesome, please share it with me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. I'll be looking for screenshots showing it off. I hope you had fun with this project, learned a couple skills in Tinkercad, and were able to stay warm, uh, staying inside instead of going out in this crazy cold. If you enjoyed the movie, please hammer that like button. If you've got a question or a comment, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching, friends. Keep tinkering.